Hello folks, welcome to uh, Linux for Seniors. So today's distribution, Endeavor OS, XFCE Desktop, I'm going to be talking about assigning keys, single keys to shortcuts that do uh, applications. You can open up applications or functions. An example is, I don't have a power key on my keyboard, so I like this command myself, and I just depress one key. Or possibly uh, opening up a calculator, because I don't have a dedicated calculator key either on this keyboard of mine. Or you can uh, open up applications, such as GIMP or just about any other application, and you can assign these two different keys. So if that interests you, continue watching. Uh, let me just take out one minute or two to explain my new YouTube site I just created last month. So that current uh, YouTube site has currently around 50 videos. My previous YouTube site, I had over 450. So Linux for seniors. Well, I am uh, doing this initially for someone that is just starting to use Linux. So I'm going to be explaining myself in a little slower manner and not use technical jargon. So none of my videos on my YouTube site for Linux for seniors will be less than two minutes. This will also be fine for the younger folks just learning how to use Linux in general. As I progress, like my previous YouTube site, into hundreds of videos, I will start giving you more technical stuff, but not trying to use too much technical jargon moving forward, because I have lots of tips and tricks for you. I've been doing this stuff for 25 years. But I'm trying to first introduce Linux to seniors that are just retiring, possibly, and want a computer hobby, for instance, or just generally want to learn or even you younger folks that are just learning Linux can probably benefit from this videos. Again, none of my videos are less than two minutes. They are long. All of my videos have timelines on them. In other words, chapters you can click on. Either become a subscriber and watch that in multiple sessions or bookmark this and then watch the video and then just stop it and take a look at the tab below in your player and see what minute you're up to, hand write it down, come back tomorrow the next day and pick up from where you left off. You can also watch my videos on the big screen, smart TVs. YouTube apps are available on most, most of those TVs, smart TVs. If not, download the app and look for Linux for Seniors and take a look at my videos on the big screen. Now I'm gonna move on first and say welcome and hopefully you will subscribe for your benefit. More importantly, I am going to talk about the Endeavor OS XFCE desktop, and I'm going to click Settings, and we're going to talk about keyboard application shortcuts. The first thing you want to do anytime you play with this box is to make a screenshot. There are two ways of doing it. You can click the Endeavor OS and type in SC and look for the screenshot tool. If you have a function key on your keyboard and an insert key normally found in the middle, the function key normally is somewhere near your control key. You can depress those and get this box. Or I'm going to do it the old fashioned way, type in SC and open this tool. I normally use the active window for everything. I don't use the entire screen because it takes the wallpaper and everything else and makes for a big file. I don't use the mouse pointer either. So, okay. And then save. Where do you want to save it to? Right now I'm just going to save it to the desktop but you have other places you can save this to. So I am going to save that to my desktop. And I can clearly see what all this stuff is, and you can make this larger or smaller. All right, so these are the things I started with. So let me show you this in a bigger way of the stuff I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna, if you haven't seen my video on Tunar, the file manager, you may wanna take a look at that to see what I'm doing here. But uh, I'm going to do the same thing in this screen. I'm just opening up a text document and letting you see that. I'm sure that's too small for you. So uh, let me actually resize the box even farther. And then I'm going to do my special trick of blowing this up. A lot of my ex subscribers know exactly what I'm doing here. Some of you, are, uh, some of you new subscribers know exactly what I'm doing also. I'm holding down my control key on my keyboard while scrolling up and down on my computer mouse to resize this. So this command here is usually typed in like one word. There's no, there's no spaces in here, in other words. But the reason I brought you in here is not for that reason. I wanted to let you see the spelling on some of this stuff. It's all lowercase. But now I'm going to actually cheat 
right click and copy something because what I'm going to do is I don't want to type this in here. You, are no, you normally will have to type this, but I also all wanted to let you see that in Endeavor OS, you also have the same command down here that I'm going to be using. But it requires you to depress Control Alt and Delete. Normally a two-handed process. Normally you're doing this with uh, two hands in other words. So I'm going to delete this on purpose. Hence the screenshots in case you deleted the wrong thing. So There's no undo in here. So I'm going to hit add. And you remember I copied that command from my little text file. So basically you want to type in this command with uh, no, no spaces in between there. So xfce4 session logout. And you can refer back to that as long as you don't have this deleted. Okay. Now the thing is what you before I click OK, I want to talk about a couple of important things to you. Some tips for you. First of all is what key do you want to use to assign some of these functions? A lot of times you want to depress a key before you get into this box to find out if it's being used for something else. I'll give you some prime examples. The enter key is you want to stay away from. You also want to stay away from key combinations that use like control C and control V. Those are system wide copy and paste functions. The other one is you may want to stay away from is F11. I'll show that in a second. The other ones are take a look at the list and take a look at what is assigned. So if I see an F10 in here, I'm not going to assign that to an F10. All right. So let me show you what an F11 does here after I do this. But I'm going to actually use the F12 because it's not doing anything. It sits right next to the F11. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask me to depress a key on my keyboard, which in this case is F12. Depress the key immediately after you uh, do this just to test it. I want you to notice the line jumped also. So be careful when you're deleting stuff. So that key works. So what does the F11 do? I'm going to open up a web browser and show you what it does. I'm pressing it now. Big screen, small screen, big screen, small screen. Just resizing. That's the general function. I believe it even works for other web browsers, but that's one, one key you may want to think about not using. Let's put it that way. All right, because I was asked about the other day from a different distribution, can I use the control C to a function? Normally not. Okay, normally not. All right, now that I've done that, um, let's talk about this one here, for instance. This F8, what does that do? It's just a simple solitaire game. And that is made by these people here. So basically, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the menu. And why is it called Soul here? First, let me open up my terminal box and let you see some history here. These are history of commands that I punched in. That is the name of that card game right there. Sudo, if you're not too familiar with these commands, sudo is just the command for super user do space pacman space dash big s is the command for installation for commands for installing stuff. And in this case, the name of the application is s iserrot. Oh, I can never pronounce that right. So anything with the sudo pacman dash s are install commands. That's super tux, simple screen recorder is what I'm using to record your video. And GIMP is like Photoshop. So you can see how that's spelled. So I'm going to minimize that. So where did I get the word soul? I'm going to go to the Endeavor OS menu and go to my game section. And uh, I'm going to take and right click on that game and hit edit application and drag this box to the side. This is why I'm using the name soul because that's the command to execute this application or, or run it. All right, in this case, this is a pretty simple explanation. I am going to remove the key and edit. I'm sorry, not edit. I'm going to remove the key and add, add that key. So I'll click, add, and uh, I'm not going to bother copy and pasting. I'm just going to type it in because it's only three letters. And then I'm going to hit that, and that was originally assigned to F8, so I'm going to reassign it to F8 and then test it. All right, you get the idea, right? So in the next example, I am going to use uh, GIMP, for instance. It's an F7. What, did, what is GIMP? If you're not familiar with it, it's like Photoshop. GNU Image Manipulation Program. In other words, GIMP. 
and you can edit photos. You, I use this pretty heavily actually. So I'm just going to bring this up for a second. It's just a butterfly and you can do your edits, save that to a different format. And uh, I also use this to edit all the thumbnails. My previous YouTube site had 450. So you can imagine how many times I had to use that thing. So GIMP was installed also through terminal through this command here. And it is now available in my menu over here. But it's called GNU image, image manipulation program in here, a mouthful, right click, edit application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the whole command. I want to delete this on purpose. And I am going to actually use it just like this and let you see what happens. I'm going to hit add. I'm going to highlight that whole line. I'm going to right click and hit copy. You can also use control C and hit paste where the other command would be control C and, and uh, I'm going to do it manually. Control C. I know you can't see me doing this. I'm holding the control key and hitting C. Then I'm going to click in here manually and hit control and hold it down in V. All right, we got that so far. So I'm going to sign GIMP to that same key F7. And let's go take a look at this thing. So F7 it is. And what you'll see is the application will open, but with an error box. Because it doesn't like that percent U thing. All right. So in other words, it still functions. And you clear that box and you do this and you're, you know, you're on your way editing and you close it and you try that again. F7 and you get the same dialog box. Well, that's because we need to fix this. And more importantly, I am not going to advocate that you edit. Basically, I'm going to advocate that you remove instead of edit because it'll take you like five steps to edit this thing. You'll see that if you try to edit things. But just trust me, just do the delete. It's a lot faster. Remove. Hit add. If you want to use this command here by copying, that's fine. You just need to chop it off. Start at the back end and hit your backspace until you get rid of all that stuff. And then hit enter. And again, I'm signing this to F7 and test it. It's done. No more error box. Close, close. So um, calculator is something, or calculator, calculator is what I have assigned to the F10 key, you know, this thing because I don't have a dedicated uh, calculator key. Some of you folks may have. In that case, you're probably using that one. That one comes from a different location, user bin calculator. It's a folder, forward slash user, forward slash bin. Anyways, I want one key on my keyboard to do this function because I don't have one of those keys on my keyboard. So is calculator the same thing in here? Well, let's go look. Let's type in GA right click on it and hit edit application and it's spelled with a lower case i'm going to delete that on purpose f10 sorry click that one more time and hit remove i don't know why i automatically pressed f10 but i did anyways but this is the command i want so i'm going to borrow this instead of the name what happens if i use the name instead of the command watch what happens when i do that so I'm going to do this on purpose. You see this, this name here is highlighted. I'm going to highlight it again. So I made the mistake of copying this instead of the command. So I'm going to paste it in here with the uppercase G on it. I'm going to hit that uh, OK key and we're using uh, F10, I believe. Yes. And I'm going to press F10. I get um, failed to execute child process with the word calculator in quotes no such file or directory that means it doesn't understand what you're trying to do because this does not exist in the way that it, it runs the application so again would i go in here and edit this i could but it'd be a lot longer so i'm just going to remove the key add grab a hold of the command part and right click and copy and right click and paste click and then what would we assign that to? F10 and test the F10. Hopefully these were valuable tips to you. You can save some typing time just by right clicking and copying a lot of stuff. Now, anytime you're in here playing, 
I don't advocate that you get near the save key in case you made a mistake and added something in here or deleted something. Hit the cancel key when you get done playing. Okay, unless you're meant to do something in here. But for the most part, all I'm doing is borrowing text. Close. So what would be the benefit of me saving this now? Well, now that I've got all these commands working for me, I'm going to do another screenshot. And again, I can use my shortcut with my keyboard or I can just type in SC again. I can also make shortcuts on my desktop or panel bar, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to click this open, do an active window only. Again, we don't care about where this box is placed. And I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to save it back to the desktop. And uh, more importantly, it's destination is desktop and there it is. And let's look at it and it's uh, resizing that is pretty easy to do with my little trick. Close that and close that and then re rename it something something that makes sense to you. App short cut xfce today's date three dash five dash two three. Why would why would I want to put an xfce in there? All right, I'm going to take this shortcut that I just made here. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on a USB stick. I'm going to also put it in my file. And then I, if I have an, another internal hard drive, it's a console computer. I'll copy it there also, possibly. But sticking these files on a, on a USB stick, they're pretty small. Sorry, I meant to click properties. They're pretty small files. So what are these good for? Well, some of us uh, like to install Linux stuff on old computers. And those drives have been running for a while. Maybe they had Windows on it before. Microsoft Windows. And those drives have been spinning for a while and they die on you. And you've got to reinstall stuff. Wouldn't it be nice to have a screenshot of these settings? There's one benefit right there. So after you reinstall Endeavor OS X, uh, XFCE, you have that nice screenshot somewhere in your repertoire of screenshots that can clearly see that just says App Shortcut XFCE. So now you can open that file on your brand new installation, open this up, go into your settings, and then take and open that up and then compare these to the to there. What is the second benefit of having this uh, file on a USB stick? Well, let's say I decide to install this uh, XFCE distribution called MX Linux XFCE. I will install that on another computer, which I do have. And then I'll use the same file and the same shortcuts on that system. You can try this yourself. Because I use this pretty, uh, I use this on multiple systems, especially this one. Because I don't have a dedicated, uh, sorry, the F12 key is where I'm referring to. I don't have a dedicated um, uh, shutdown key. You know, after I do this for a while, and again, I've been doing this for, you know, many, 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 many years, over 25 years, uh, you get, you know, used to typing that in there. But in this case, in this distribution, that command is actually in there under another command. But in some distributions for XFCE, that's not in there. So these screenshots do come in handy for that kind of purpose. So all I do is take this file over to that brand new installation of the other Linux distribution, XFCE, and try these commands out there in their keyboard application shortcuts, if I wanted those, if I wanted those. So what I'm going to do with this is draw a box around these. I'm just clicking and drawing, and I'm going to actually right click and cut them. And then I'm going to open up my file manager, open up my pictures. I have a folder called screenshots, and I'm going to paste those in there. Again, I still recommend that you copy these somewhere else, just in case you lose your drive. On that note, folks, I will say thank you for watching, and hopefully you subscribed. Take care.